Hi, and welcome to A Spoonful of Species, your go-to place for conservation through baking. My name is Caitlin, and I'm an interpretive naturalist with years of experience educating the public about animals, both aquatic and terrestrial. Every week, we are going to bake an animal-themed dessert, and this week, we are making rhino horn divinity. Rhinos, or rhinoceros, are one of five species that are large, gray, and have a big horn, or maybe two, on their face. Of the five species, two of them live in Africa and three of them live in Asia. The two that live in Africa are the black rhino and the white rhino. The white rhino is the largest of all rhino species, weighing up to 5,000 pounds, with a large flat mouth that it uses to graze along the ground. The black rhino weighs about 3,000 pounds and has a prehensile lip that it uses to grasp branches and leaves off of bushes and trees. To make rhino horn divinity, you will need two large egg whites, room temperature, three cups of sugar, two thirds cup of water, one half cup of light corn syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and black or gray food coloring. To make the rhino horn divinity, put the egg whites in a bowl and let stand at room temperature for 30 minutes. In a large, heavy saucepan, combine sugar, water, and corn syrup. Bring to a boil, stirring constantly to dissolve the sugar. Add the food coloring to your liking. Cook without stirring over medium heat until candy thermometer reads 252 degrees Fahrenheit or at hard ball stage. Just before the temperature is reached, beat the egg whites on medium to high speed until stiff peaks form. Slowly add the hot sugar mixture in a very thin stream over the egg whites, beating constantly and scraping the sides of the bowl occasionally. Add vanilla and beat until the candy holds its shape about five to six minutes. If you overmix, the candy will be stiff and crumbly and you will not be able to pipe it. Immediately place into a piping bag and pipe your rhino horns. It is important to note that it cools very quickly so you do have to work pretty fast and that your first few and probably some in the middle won't turn out beautifully. But that's okay, they'll still taste delicious. The other three rhinos are Asian rhinos. The Sumatran rhino, the Greater One Horn rhino, and the Javan rhino. The Greater One Horn rhino is the largest of the three and has the most amount of skin folds, so its skin looks the most armored, and only has one horn, as, it, as its name suggests. Javan rhinos, also known as the lesser one horn rhinos, are probably the most endangered of, for going extinct, as there's only about maybe 60 left in the world. The Sumatran rhino, however, are the world's smallest rhino, and they're the only Asian rhino with two horns. While there are more Sumatran rhinos than Javan rhinos, the Sumatran rhinos are still extremely endangered because they are losing their habitat at an unprecedented rate. Rhinos are being poached for their horns all over the world, and their horns are used for things like art carving, and for medicinal reasons, especially being ground and made into teas that are supposed to have medicinal properties. While this isn't true because rhino horns are actually made out of keratin, so the same thing that our fingernails are made, so anyone drinking rhino horn tea is probably just drinking fingernail tea. There are many conservation initiatives that help sell, save rhinos from extinction all over the world, and there is so much that you can do to do your own part in helping save rhinos. First, you can purchase FSC, which is Forest Stewardship Council Wood. Anytime you buy wood, if you purchase wood from these places, just make sure you check and see if it's got that FSC stamp. You can also download and use the Palm Oil app. Palm oil is the world's most prevalent vegetable oil, and it's used in about half of all products in the supermarket. Yes, half of all products. And the problem with palm oil is not the palm oil itself, it's that palm oil farms are being um, created in places that used to be homes for animals like rhinos and orangutans and tigers. 
So the forests are being cut down in order to make way for these palm oil farms. So the best thing that you can do is just make sure that you know that your palm oil in whatever product you are using is sustainable. So download that palm oil app. Finally, you can visit the San Diego Global Wildlife Conservation at endextinction.org to learn more and to see what you can do to help out. This has been another episode of A Spoonful of Species. My name is Caitlin. I'll see you next time.